Hello, tiny adventurers, ready for a fun journey? I'm Miss Alphabet and we're off to explore a treasure chest today. It's not filled with gold or gems but something even more precious. The alphabet. Each letter in the alphabet is like a unique gem with its own special sound. Imagine making 26 new friends, each with their unique sound. Isn't that exciting? So grab your explorer hats, hold on to your magnifying glasses and let's dive right into this magical sound adventure. Ready little ones? Let's have lots of fun together. Now we start with our first three letters, A, B, and C. A is our very first letter. Can you say A? That's right. A as in apple. An apple is a tasty fruit that's often red or green. Can you imagine biting into a juicy apple? Yum. Let's say A together a few more times. A, 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 wonderful. Next up is B. Let's pronounce it together B. Just like a buzzing B, can you hear it? Bzz, B, bzz, B. So that's B for B. Bees are tiny creatures that make honey. They go buzz and fly from flower to flower. Let's repeat B together. B, 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 you're doing fantastic. And now we have our third letter, C. Can you say C? Brilliant. C as in cat. Cats are fluffy pets that love to play and purr. Can you purr like a cat? Purr, C, purr, C. Let's practice saying C a little more. C, 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 splendid. In our journey of alphabets, we've met three new friends today, haven't we? Let's say hello to them once again. A for apple, B for bee, and C for cat. Can we say them all together now? A, B, C, again A, B, C, and one more time, A, B, C. You've done an amazing job today. Each letter is a new friend. And just like with any friend, the more time you spend with them, the better you get to know them. So don't hesitate to revisit A, B, and C whenever you want. Great job, little friends. We've learned A, B, and C. Next, we have D, E, and F. Let's go on a journey to uncover three more magical letters of the alphabet. Our first stop is the delightful letter D. Say it with me now, D, D, D. It dances off the tongue, doesn't it? It sounds like the soft beat of a drum. Now let's think of a word that starts with D. How about duck? A duck says quack quack. So remember D is for duck. Now let's sail on to the enchanting letter E. Can you say E? It's easy as pie. E, E, E. It sounds like a squeaky door opening. And a word that starts with E, that's right, elephant. An elephant is big and strong, just like the letter E. So E is for elephant. Finally, we've arrived at the fabulous letter F. Let's say it together. F, F, F. It sounds like the gentle rustling of leaves in the wind. And a word that starts with F, of course, it's fish. A fish swims in the water, making waves just like the letter F does in our alphabet. So F is for fish. Let's take a moment now to go through these three letters one more time. We have D for duck, E for elephant, and F for fish. Can you say them with me? That's it. You're doing fantastic. Learning the alphabet is like going on an adventure, discovering new sounds and words that help us express our thoughts and feelings. And just like any great adventure, it's more fun when we do it together. So, let's keep going and discover the rest of the alphabet. Well done, little buddies. We now know D, E, and F. Moving on, we have G, H, and I. Let's start with the letter G. G is a great letter. Can you say G? That's right, G makes the G sound, like in the word goat. Can you say goat? Wonderful, goat starts with the letter G. Let's say it again, G for goat. Now let's move on to the next letter. H, H is a happy letter. Can you say H? Perfect, H makes the H huh sound, like in the word hat. Can you say hat? Well done, hat starts with the letter H. Let's say it again, H for hat. Are you ready for the next letter? It's the letter I. I is an interesting letter. Can you say I? Good job, I makes the I sound, like in the word igloo. Can you say igloo? Brilliant. Igloo starts with the letter I. Let's say it again, I for igloo. Now let's quickly review. We've learned G, H, and I today. G for goat, H for hat, and I for igloo. Can you say them all? G for goat, H for hat, and I for igloo. It's so much fun learning the alphabet with you. Remember, practice makes perfect, so feel free to repeat the sounds and words as many times as you like. The more you practice, the better you'll get at recognizing these letters and their sounds. Take a moment to give yourselves a big clap. You're doing an amazing job learning your ABCs. I'm so proud of you all. Fantastic work, little friends. We've learned G, H, and I. Next up, we have J, K, and L. Let's start with the joyful letter J, J is such a jubilant letter, isn't it? Can you say J? Great. Now let's say it again, J, 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 just perfect. Now can you think of a word that starts with J? How about jelly? Jelly is wobbly and sweet and it starts with our joyful letter J. Let's say it together, jelly. Well done. Moving on, we have the kind letter KK is a cool letter, isn't it? 
Let's say KKK, keep going, you're doing a fantastic job. Now can you think of a word that starts with K? How about kite? A kite flies high in the sky and it starts with our kind letter K. Let's say it together. Kite. Brilliant. Last but not least, we have the lovely letter LL is such a light and lively letter. Let's say LLL. Look at you, you're a natural. Now can you think of a word that starts with L? How about lion? A lion is a large and strong animal and it starts with our lovely letter L. Let's say it together. Lion. Excellent. Look at how far we've come. We've learned three more letters of the alphabet today. Let's say them together one more time. J, K, L. And the words we learned? Jelly, kite, lion. Fantastic. You're doing such a superb job, little buddies, and I'm so proud of you. Remember, each letter is unique and special, just like you. Superb job, little buddies. We now know J, K, and L. You've done so well today, little friends. We've had quite an adventure, haven't we? Together, we've journeyed through the magical world of the alphabet, from the awesome A to the lovely L. Let's take a quick stroll down memory lane, shall we? We started with A like apple, then B for ball and C for cat. Next we discovered D for dog, E for elephant, and F for frog. We then hopped onto G for goat, A for hat, and I for igloo. And finally we jumped with joy for J, kicked it with K, and loved L. Each of these letters has a unique sound and together they create the beautiful language we speak. You've done a fantastic job learning these today. I can't wait to continue this journey with you. I'm so proud of you, little ones. Remember, every day is a new day to learn something new. See you next time.